The resources utilized for medical education are shifting from paper journals and textbooks to digital frontiers. In particular, live streaming and video archiving have exploded over the past five years as a result of improvements in data technology and mobile smartphone access. Consider, for example, the field of competitive video gaming. At last year's premiere event for a game called Defense of the Ancients, live views peaked with 11 million people simultaneously watching from around the world. Nephrology can make use of this technology to reach a greater audience and train the next generation of clinicians and scientists. The technology used to live stream or video capture is user friendly, available with basic laptops and webcams, and very portable. Basic setup takes less than five minutes with a variety of options depending on your budget and expertise. Creating content is limited only by your imagination. With this project, I first piloted a CPC-style proof-of-concept recording locally at my institution. Once obstacles such as graphic layout and audio were addressed, I recorded a publicly available episode focused on pathology, where a renal fellow interpreted a kidney biopsy with our nephropathologist. We started with two basic cases of nephrotic syndrome, minimal change disease, and membranous nephropathy were the histologic diagnoses. The videos were promoted via avenues of social media such as Twitter, renal blogs, and our institutional webpage sharing a link. To date, that video has been viewed over 3,000 times. YouTube analytics are free and fairly robust and allows us to identify the location of viewers, user demographics, time retention, and many more variables. Since the first episode, I've recorded and uploaded one video a month. Various formats, including traditional lectures, board review, and medical jeopardy have been recorded. The most popular videos based on user feedback continue to be the renal pathology series, so I plan to continue these moving forward. To date, we have covered IgA nephropathy, thin basement membrane disease, post-infectious and IgA dominant infection associated GN, renal amyloid, acute cellular rejection, antibody-mediated rejection, and Febreze disease. As I continue to improve production of these episodes, I hope this technology becomes adopted in more institutions worldwide. To view the videos, search Wash U Nephrology on YouTube and subscribe to be informed when new videos are uploaded. I want to give special thanks to the ASN for selecting this platform as one of the innovations in Kidney Education Contest winners for 2016.